All right, so we've got some work to do. Do you have back pain, neck pain? Yes, more so back than neck. Okay, low back, mid back? Um, sometimes in the lower back, I feel it more like up towards my shoulders most of the time. Mm -hmm. Is that an everyday occurrence? Yeah. Okay, and how long have you had that for? Um, basically like as long as I can remember. Yeah, okay. this like big health spiral's been like definitely the last solid like two years. Mm -hmm. Did you say, what did you say? This big health spiral is Yeah, building? like all, no, like everything that I like went through was like mainly like the past like two years. Okay. Like the crutches, wheelchair and finding everything out. What happened first two years ago? What, what were the first symptoms that you noticed? Um, well, I had problems with my feet growing up. Like I broke my ankles each two times. So I always kind of like was weary with my ankles and had like issues with those. But I really noticed it, I think it was spring... I want to say 2016 or 2017, I think 2017, um, my one knee started to get really swollen and really bad to walk on. And that's what really started it. Um, I went like a couple months just kind of lipping around, I ended up having to start to use like one crutch, went to two crutches because it started going like to my other knee too. And then ended up in a wheelchair because I literally could not stand up straight to walk. Like, I was so dependent on the crutches. Mm -hmm. And then that's when I, like, was finding, like, my good doctors. And they finally figured out that it was um, closely related, related to rheumatoid arthritis and ankylosing spondylitis. Mm -hmm. And then the start of osteoporosis, osteopenia. So ankylosing spondylitis and osteopenia are the two diagnoses of which your doctors work on. Yes. Okay. All right, so how old are you now? 27. You've had x-rays and MRI? Yes. What have you done in the past year to treat? The biggest things is my doctor, my rheumatologist, started me on a Humira, the bi-weekly shot. Mm -hmm. um, and then I did about two or three months of physical therapy. Part of my health issues was uh, both of my big toes were severely dislocated. So I now have a big a screw in each one of my toes. Mm -hmm. When? Well, each big and toe. It's a really good question, to be honest. I know it sounds bad, and it's probably terrible to laugh at that. But <laughs> I feel like everything just kind of like happened all at once that I don't know exactly when they happened. But I know I went to my doctor shortly after my knee started to hurt because my feet started to bother me a lot more than what they deemed was plantar fasciitis years before that. Mm -hmm. And he took just a regular x-ray of my ankles, just like me sitting down on the bench with my feet up. And he basically just chalked it up to me having sore feet and working on my feet and not wearing great shoes. So I continued to work for the next year. And then I found a better foot doctor. And she took x-rays with me, weight-bearing, like standing up. And that's when she found out that both of my toes were severely dislocated. So mm -hmm. she thinks that they were partially broken when that other doctor, when I went to him. And then he just didn't figure it out. And then I just made him worse by continuing to walk around for a year. Okay, let's talk about your neck pain. Do you have the neck pain every day too? Most days, yeah. Okay. Do you wake up with it or is, does it build throughout the day? Is it there at the um, end of the day? I feel like it's more so at the end of the day than the morning. In the mornings, my neck's a little stiff, mm -hmm. but I feel like it's usually the end of the day where I'm more so like, you know, like neck and shoulder. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, neck and shoulder both sides or just one side? Um, the left side more than the right side, but okay. sometimes both sides. Okay. How's your digestion? I think it's pretty good. <laughs> How's your diet? Um, it could be healthier, for sure, but I try to eat a pretty balanced diet. I try to get veggies and everything in there. Okay. I definitely don't eat fast food, but okay. I'm also not a big salad eater, I will mm -hmm. say that. Mm -hmm. But okay. I'm not going to McDonald's ever. How's your immune system? You get sick a lot? Flus, coughs, colds? Um, I used to in school. I used to get sore throats a lot, like every single fall and winter, but... 2010 or 2011, I got my tonsils out, and I rarely get sick ever since that. What's your cycle like? Do you cycle regularly every 28 days? Um, I actually don't get one. I have the um, mm. an implant in my arm, and it just completely stopped it. Been on any other kinds of medications in the past? Um, whenever my doctor first started me on the Humira, she also started me on methotrexate. Um, I was on that for maybe six months, and then she weaned me off and just left me on the Humira. Um, and I've been on a couple different doctors, put me on prednisone a couple times. But How do you respond to prednisone? Um, my boyfriend at the time said I was a total bitch on it. it and I don't blame him, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but, I mean, I really didn't, besides, like, like moody in this, I really didn't think it helped me all that much. Okay, I want to tell you that you had bamboo spine on your x-rays. 
No. Okay. Where were those x-rays taken? Because we're going to need to get a copy of those. I don't remember. I definitely have all the records at home. I feel like I okay. have copies of all of them, actually. Okay, good. Okay, good. You can bring that up. Okay, do you remember the details of your birth? Do you know if you were natural or cesarean birth? Um, natural. Um, it's a tiny little detail. I do remember that my mom, like the doctor, came in and checked on her. And he said he was, like, going to go have dinner, and he was, like, walking down. He, like, barely got down the hall, and my mom started screaming at my dad to go get him that it was time. And my dad ran and got him, and he didn't believe him, and then he came back in the room anyways, and literally, like, 15 minutes later, I was born. Wow, quick. Yeah. Do you know if you were breastfed or not? Um, I think so. Okay. Now, do you have other people in your family who have AS? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. How far do you know all both sets of your grandparents? I do. I know that my um, great grandma on my mom's side had really bad arthritis, mm -hmm. and that her mom, so my grandma as well, has arthritis. But I don't remember anything more related to my issues or anything serious. Okay. And so far, only one doctor has confirmed that you have AS, or multiple doctors? Just one. Any other illnesses, sicknesses as a child? The only things would be the. Broke both my ankles twice. Mm -hmm. That's about it. Do you have ankle pain, foot pain every day? Every single day, yeah. Okay. Do they hurt just as bad as the back? No, they hurt worse than my back. Okay. We'll work on your feet, too. Okay. Have you ever been adjusted by a chiropractor before? I have not, no. Excellent. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> Good. Okay. All right, so let's start off by watching your gait, and then we'll see what your spine says and go from there, okay? Okay. Okay, slight external rotation in each side and a little bit of, of what we could call waddle gait, but it's very minimal, mild. Okay, looking at the hips, left to right, looks pretty even. The hips look stiff more than anything, and then your right hip looks elevated versus the left, and your right hip seems to swing up more so than the left is swinging forward. So we'll go back the other way. And then looking at the shoulders one last time, the right shoulder is a little bit, the right shoulder is lower on the left, excuse me, the right shoulder is lower than the left shoulder. One more time back this way. High left shoulder, high right hip. Feet look pretty good. It's so crazy that you can just like tell. Nice and gentle. <laughs> Cold? No, it was just like caught me off guard a little. temperature assessment. Tender? Mm -hmm.
S2. Here's the SI joint. Lean back into my thumb like this. Tenderness, pain? Um, yeah, down my other hand is. Okay, let's go to the right now. But that's not as bad, but it still hurts. Got a break at the lower left lumbar at about L3, and then again on the sacrum. It's very consistently all on the left. left SI joint. Okay, this time lift your whole leg in the air. Okay, like with my knee too, you mean? Yes. Okay, good. Down. And let your back relax. Okay, left. Down. Right. Down. One more time. Left. Down. And right. Down. Okay, so good. The left lumbar is firing appropriately and the right lumbar is just lagging. So this is, looks like it's shaping up to be a nice left sacroiliac joint and right lumbar right lumbar compensation, which is perfect. I'm gonna bend your knees now, okay? Don't help me, just let me do the bending. Let, let, yeah, there you go. Oh, maybe not though, let your legs relax. You might have to adjust both, both SI joints. Okay, let this go, good. Okay, I'm gonna lift your leg, okay? okay. Let me do it. Sorry. <laughs> it's, a, it's so much easier to say relax than to actually relax. Okay, how about this? Don't relax, just let go. And breathe. It's the same thing. <laughs> it's not. It's not. How about this? Just drop. Yeah, good. Feel yourself sinking with your breath. Left short to stay short. We're going to adjust both SI joints. Bottom leg stays straight. I'm going to bend the top. Good, I'm going to scoot you forward here towards the end of the table. That's good. And then your shoulders just a little bit too. Good, and your head relax right there. Good, now turn your head so you're facing straight that way. Good, so this is how we adjust the low back, okay? What I'm going to do here is bring your hips down to about here. We're going to push from here Tender out here. Yeah. Okay. We're going to push from there in this direction like that. Okay. Gentle breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Got to do that again. In, out. Good. We're going to bring this down. Let your shoulders come up more. One more. Good. Lay on your back. Okay. I'm going to scoot you forward just a little bit. A little bit there. Good. And this one here. Good. Here. Here. Good, okay, breathing, gentle, good breath. Oh, there's more, hold on. That was that lumbar. Again, in through your nose, and out. Good, shoulders coming up, hold on. Lay on your back. Now, when you crack your own back, do you get those big clunks? Oh, no, I've never heard my back crack like that before. Okay, let's do this. Turn your head to the right. Good. Back to center. Now turn your head to the left. Back to center. 
Bring your right ear down to your right shoulder. Like touch it. Like yeah, that's good. Yeah, good. Center. Left ear, left shoulder. Center. Does that mess with my feet? That's actually how I look at your neck. Yeah, when yeah, when your it does, it changes your leg length. Yeah, so that means when you go this way, it became equal, okay. which means that the atlas wants to go this way to create more symmetry. When you turn this way, it became more unequal. And so that means your atlas is stuck on that side and it wants to come this way. Okay, okay very gentle. We're just going to stretch the spine. Okay, very gentle breaths here. And I'm just letting your head sink into my hands. There you go. Okay, so the feeling that you want to accomplish when we do these exercises is to let your head drop into the table. So I'm gonna move you to the side right here, and then you're just gonna be like, <laughs> I'm going to be over here, and then it's just... Okay. You can do it. Just do it. Okay, let your head drop. Good. Okay. Now, this is going to be super gentle and soft, okay? Okay, breathing in through your nose. Good. Now let your head drop in. Good. Let your shoulders drop. Good. We're just going to bring your neck to like right about here, Lauren. Then right from here, we're just going to push in that direction like that, okay? Gentle. It's going to be gentle. Relax. Let your shoulder. There you go. Now breathe. And as you breathe out, just feel your whole body sinking into the table. Good. Let it go. Let your shoulders, head. Good. And you're holding on a little bit right there. Good. Did you feel that? <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're going to try again. This is going to be gentle. Okay. Good. Let's do that. Let's bring it to here. Good. Feel yourself drop. Good. Now we're going to bring it to here. Good. Feel yourself drop. Let your hips drop. Let your shoulders drop. Good. It's better. Gentle. Good. What's your favorite song? Oh, that's a really tough question. Oh my god. That's crazy. You just asked me that to distract me, didn't you? Okay, you did really good on that side. Okay. You ready to get the other side yes. done? Okay, let's test it first. Let me find out where the most important segment is. Let your head drop. Good. We're going to test seven, six, five, four, three. Feels like as, let this go, it feels like as I get to the top, there's a little bit more resistance than when I'm down at the bottom. It starts here in the middle and then here. I like this segment here. Now let your head drop again. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, so the next one is a stretch. I'm going to lift okay. your head like this. We're going to pull straight out in this direction, okay? Okay, breathing softly. 
Good. We're gonna lift. Gonna dislike that one more time. Oh, wow. I <laughs> used that you were just stretching. <laughs> I know, it worked perfectly. Really good, let this relax, good. Oh. Painful? Mm. Ooh. No, I've been like too nervous to do anything with my feet since like all that happened. I'm like, I don't know if I'll ever go and get a pedicure again in my life. Awesome, one more. Mm. <laughs> there you go. Do you go? Squeeze again. Yep, squeeze. Good. This is the end of the small intestine where the large intestine starts. So, belly button, ASIS, you find the spot in between the two. Tender? A little, yeah. Now, take a deep breath into your belly. And out. Again, into your belly, deep breath. Out. Again, deep breath in. And out. Two inches up from the belly button. Clear. Just lean forward a little bit right here, good. Lean forward. It all seems to want to manifest on the left side of your body. Do you have any history of being bitten by a tick? Not that I know of. They've tested they, me for Lyme disease tons and tons of times in the past couple of years. Did they all come back negative? They did. But I've been told that there's like different levels of Lyme's test. Yeah, we're, we're gonna get to that for sure. Okay, lean back here, let your head relax, go let your back relax into my leg, good.
I'm going to push a little deeper now. How's it feel? Walk around a little bit. Take it for a test drive. Take it for a test drive. Uh -huh. That's nice. I feel like my feet are still a little sore, but they feel a lot better than whenever I came in, which is saying a lot because I've been on my feet like all morning. Mm -hmm. So they're usually really sore right now. But my back feels amazing. Myself, my um, uncle is a retired doctor. And you always preach to like everybody in the family. It's like they call it practicing medicine for a reason. Great adjustment. Everything that possibly could have been adjusted, we did successfully and thoroughly. So it couldn't have gone any better. Um, based on how you feel right now and how you feel the next couple of days will give us a good indication of how fast we're going to progress through this for you. Okay. And so we're going to look for some immediate short-term results where you feel better and your pain levels are decreased and you do not have pain as frequently. And then over long periods of time, we're gonna look for further decrease in the, in the intensity of the pain and also the frequency of the pain. Right now you have pain every day, so it's not gonna take us very long to find out how, how effective we are. Mm -hmm. I'd say conservatively, I'm gonna shoot for just like three or four adjustments in the next two weeks to get your pain at least 50% of its intensity uh, reduced. And so, and then based on that, and so that'll give us like a nice top layer of relief and then to get further relief underneath of that are, are kind of the things that have been building over the years that may require a little bit more than just the adjustment but also we're going to talk about what supplements that you take and what possible factors we can increase or influence through your diet yeah. to help create a nice well balanced um, immune inflammatory cycle. Uh, where everything's responding to the environment and off, but also not being hyper inflamed. So, because all of the HLA B27, whether it's AS or rheumatoid, are all responsive to the immune system. So, there are some very specific herbs that help the immune system respond to the environment, as well as some very specific mushrooms that help the immune system respond to the environment in a healthy, balanced way. Uh, we definitely need to talk about an air breathing practice. So we need something to help move air throughout your body energetically. What I feel through your pulses is that um, you're good on the fire quality. You've got some good earth in you, but we need to increase the air in the ether. Do you have a card? Um, I do not. No. Oh, okay. Why don't you just get your card and then I could like... Yeah, I tried to get it through my one doctor and it was just like jumping through hoops and like he was making it seem like I didn't qualify for it with mm. what I have which to me seems ridiculous no, no, you definitely qualify. I know other people that have gotten it for literally like anxiety like mm -hmm. yeah okay don't worry about that we can talk about that too so that that's more beneficial for or that's has more to do with the long-term plan as far as what medicines that you use to complement your journey um, so I'll take a look at your blood tests, I'll look at your MRIs and your x-rays next week. We'll see what all of those say, and then depending on how you respond to this adjustment, we'll put it all together, and then uh, we'll give you a, I'll give you a prognosis. Okay. 